always say jeans, like I wear jeans on a regular. I'm gonna wear it with leggings. Shout out to you, I don't look good in jeans though. I can't relate. Hey Gems, it's your girl Miss Jamima and we are back at it again with another video. So today, we are going to be doing a collector shoe haul and I have shoes from Nordstrom and from maybe Blooms, did I get shoes from Bloomingdale? And somewhere else, I can't remember right now. <laughs> Where is my brain? Or are all these from Nordstrom? Girl, I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out and I'll put it in the description bar below. Um, but before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. Join the Gem Squad, thank you so much. Um, now let's get started, okay? Um, so the pieces that I have, or the shoes that I have, they're nothing really special. Um, I'm just rebuilding my collection because I'm pretty sure, I told you guys in another haul that my feet grew over quarantine, so now I'm a solid 11, and a lot of my shoes were at 10, so they don't fit anymore. So child, I had to get rid of them, start my collection over from scratch, and I hate it for me. Um, but yeah, so I bought some classic shoes, and I feel like, with the exception of like one or two, um, I think my base is pretty solid. So anyways, let's just jump right into it, okay? Okay. Um, so I already took all the B-roll footage, so that's why all the boxes are open. So these boots are from a brand called Naturalizer, and I tried a pair of pumps from them before. Um, unfortunately, that pair didn't fit, but I do remember like the comfort in those heels. Like this brand does not play when it comes to padding their shoes, baby. At least from the shoe that I experienced. So once I saw that they had the, these booties, I was like, oh, let me go ahead and grab these. Now when I put them on, oh, very comfortable. It has like a, a fur lining, like just on the bottom. Child, when I tell you this is so comfy. And I actually purchased these um, after I purchased a black pair that was similar, not from the same brand, but I'm gonna show you guys later on. But I was like, listen, this height, this color, the comfort, this is perfection. And I'm so glad I got my hands on these. Maybe y'all gonna see this in some fits, okay? Some pics on the gram for sure. Y'all gonna see it in real life. If you ever catch me outside, if you ever catch me outside, I might be in these boots, baby, okay? Love these. I can't even get my hands out. Like, it's like a soft, subtle fur. Uh, if I could fit my whole body in these boots, I would. I really would. But yeah, naturalizer. I'm pretty sure these are from Nordstrom. Or was it Bloomingdale's? I don't know. Okay, moving on. So next we have some shoes by Sam Edelman. And it's classic black pumps. Leather or pleather. Pretty sure these are pleather. Um, these seem to be like 100 uh, milliliters. I don't buy anything over four inches. Like I just, that four inches is my cutoff, okay? I'm already struggling, but I said four inches, I can't do nothing more than that. So this looks like it's about maybe three and three quarters, four inches, so. I'm very happy with these. And it has, you know, the typical Sam Edelman emblem here on the back um, and underneath the shoe. But yeah, I really like these. They're comfortable, they're classic, they'll go with so many looks, and I just needed something just like this. Just for like everyday wear, picture wear, perfection, and I can actually walk in these. Maybe not model-like, not Naomi Campbell-like, but I can walk. I'll get from point A to point B without falling, maybe. And the stiletto heel isn't like super stiletto. Child, I really need to buy block heels, but you know, I said, let me go ahead and give this a try. But I am really enjoying these so far. So I bought the same pair, but in this like nude color. And most nudes have some kind of like pink undertone to them, but I like that these don't. These have more of a yellow undertone. So I'm like, oh, mm, this is super cute. Like a lot of times I'll buy nude shoes and it's giving more of a blush pink. And I'm like, that's not what I asked for, okay? Um, so yeah, girl, I definitely got me another pair. I, I need to go back and see if they have a glossy, like a patent black pump. That would be nice. I would absolutely love to have that. But I actually wore these out for a picture already. Um, I'll see if I can insert the footage here. But yeah, super cute. Beigey, more yellow toned nude. So if you're on the market for a, a nude that's less pink, hit up Sam Edelman, okay? Hit up my man Sam. My man Sam. Big purr. He called me Big Purr. 
Um, so if you're familiar with this channel, you know one thing I'm gonna complain about is wearing heels. I'm gonna I'm try it though, cause y'all know I wanna be a bad bitch so bad. But you know, every day I, I can't do it. I can't do the heels every day. Um, so I've been trying to find some cute heels. Not heels, I'm not saying. Some cute flats. So I have flats, but all the flats I purchased were with work in mind. So I have like loafers, like work type loafers and like, I don't know, but you know, like work flat, you you know what I'm talking about. Those are the flats that I have. And I'm like, this is not what I want to wear if I'm going like out at night or something. So I wanted plain flats, which is actually pretty difficult to find. Cause I wanted plain, but I also wanted quality. Like I want them to last me. Cause now that, you know, I'm full time content creator. I don't need office clothes anymore. I don't need office shoes. I just need a pair of like simple black flats and a pair of simple, uh, like a cognac brown neutral flat, you know, for the times when I just need something for comfort. So this is the closest thing that I found once again, Tim Edelman. Um, these are ballerina flats. I wish you didn't have this little bow here. When I tell you I really wanted a simple shoe, that's what I wanted. Um, but yeah, so I have these and I'm pretty happy with these. I'm definitely going to keep them. Um, they're super comfortable and I, I really appreciate that about Sam Edelman. And you know, while I was doing this haul, I was like, I didn't even realize I definitely have a type. I buy a lot of Sam Edelman shoes. Like he just does me right. Like the shoes are sturdy. They can hold up this big body bands. Cause a lot of time I'll buy point toe heels, um, or pumps, whatever, especially with the stiletto heels and girl, the way they bend, snap, crack and pop under the weight, the pressure um and his shoes don't do that okay and i'm a big girl okay i'm a big girl um so yeah i'm actually a big fan of his shoes like i already have shoes of his in my closet that i didn't remember was from him so i did an all black lookbook reel for instagram i filmed it today and i was like pulling out shoes that i haven't worn a little bit and i was like oh my god like this is sam edelman this is sam edelman too what did i even buy these from sam when did I even buy this? Which is a problem. Like, that's how I know I'm not maximizing my closet. Period. But anyways, yeah. So I just want a mini rant to say I'm very much so team Sam Edelman. But yeah, so I enjoy these flats. And it has this thick cushion, like, right here in the heel. And throughout the, the shoe, oh my god. It just, it's literally like a sponge. And I so appreciate that. Like, for real. I so appreciate that. Because I, I can't no more. The cheap flats where you feel like you're walking on the ground itself. I'm lying. I'm still wearing them. I'm still buying. <laughs> but when I can, you know, I'd rather upgrade and get that comfort. I'm a whole lot. Like, I wouldn't buy it. Yes, I would. Now, I also bought these flats and I tried. I tried to like them. Um, they're very comfortable as well. But... I didn't realize that they weren't a rounded toe. It's like a soft square toe and I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. And even when I was filming the B-roll, Kim was over here clowning me to my these are her grandma shoes. First of all, you don't know, what if I love these shoes? And now you say these are your grandma shoes. What if I love these shoes? Like why would you play me like this? Oh please, I have a package here. I'm back. But yeah, y'all, I tried. I tried so hard to love these shoes. I tried. Because they're so comfortable. And they stick like the Sam Edelman ones. They and they're sturdy. Like, hello. Like, I feel like these are looking like sneakers on a flat. <laughs> but I just love shoes that have great support. Oh, not plush on the inside. But child, not. Nah. Not Kim to my, they're her grandma shoes. Double air reaction, the European comfort shoe. Joseph Seibel. Sable. I don't know, child, but I'm gonna return these. I'm so sad. I'm so sad, but I'm gonna look to see what other shoes they had because I'll tell you, this feels amazing. It'd be all friends. So next we have this pair of shoes from Vince Camuto. And I don't know how I feel about these. <laughs> it's definitely a comfortable height, but I almost wish these were a little taller. Um, and they're also a little tight. See, this is why I don't understand the sizing. So this is 11 medium, 
but also a 43. A 43 in what? what from what country? What sizing standard? Because usually I wear a 40, what, 42. I don't know. I can't keep up. Oh my gosh. But yeah, these definitely run on the smaller side. So when I was putting them on, I was like, oh, wait a minute. My bunny is like, oh, hey girl, hey. Like, nobody tried to wake you up. I'm sorry, sis. We didn't want you here. But I was like, I really, I was really into this because of the velvet. What is it, velvet? <laughs> the velvet texture. But yeah, so I don't know. I don't think I'm going to keep these. Just because it's a little tight and y'all, I spent a long time taking care and babying my feet to get them to look cute because at one point when I was wearing point toe pumps all the time my bunions was out here fighting in the streets okay I, I don't want none of that smoke okay I ain't got no hands I can't fight I don't, I don't want it I don't want it I don't want it I don't want it so I'm not doing the tight shoes anymore if it's not loosey goosey damn near sling back on my foot I don't want it so these are a no-go for me very unfortunate but yeah it's a no it's a no next Sam Edelman y'all y'all see the box another Sam Edelman heel now I purchased this and I, I don't usually buy shoes like this I don't usually buy textured shoes um because it has like a fake fur situation on it but i was like i actually like these it's not dramatic it doesn't look cheap i'm actually a fan of these so i was like okay uh look at me coming with the print period spice up a plain outfit love that for me um wow i really oh, real fur dyed cow hair peter please don't don't come for me This is real cow. Not me having real cow. Period. <laughs> Shout out to my man Sam. Okay. Oh. Real cow hair. Oh. From Vietnam. I got Vietnamese, Vietnamese cow hair on my feet. Look at that. I don't know how to get this. Interesting. Anyways, but yeah, not dramatic, doesn't look cheap, and I'm really a fan. They're super cute. I like these. The cute little sweater, some jeans. I always say jeans, like I wear jeans on a regular. I wear it with leggings or slacks. Shout out to you, I don't look good in jeans though. I can't relate. Can't relate. But anyways, last but not least, we have these boots here and I love, I love, I love, period. It's getting Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston. We could talk about it, be about it. Um, I definitely show these boots in my 2021 favorites. This video was supposed to come out before then, but listen, life will life. So <laughs> I have been wearing these boots so freaking much and I love them so freaking much. Um, like they may not look like much. I'm lying. They, they're cute. Don't play me. Um, but they may not look like much. But when I tell you these boots, I don't understand what it is about them that makes me last in these shoes. Um, but these are definitely like my go-to if I'm going out at night. I don't know what I'm going to do when spring and summer come. I'm going back to flats, I guess. But these boots i don't know what it is but these are the only the only shoes in my entire collection that i can wear out and actually make it back home like i don't understand what it is um because y'all a lot of my shoes are this heel height so it's not the height i don't know what i have other shoes that have great cushioning on the inside feet still hurt I don't know what kind of sorcery that they put in these shoes, but I wish that they would put them in all of my shoes because I just, 
I would love to be able to walk around in all of my shoes all night, but I can't. But with these shoes, I definitely can, and I absolutely love that for me. So they're already cute. I specifically purchase these for everyday wear because sometimes I'm like, I want to wear a cute little heel, get my hair cut, go to the grocery store. You know, I don't, I don't always want to be everyday sneakers, everyday flats, everyday sandals. Like sometimes I want to do a little something, very much something. And these boots definitely allow me to do that. And I love that for me. I love that for me. They're from the brand Blondo and they're waterproof. So I can wear these in the rain. So they say, I haven't worn them out yet, but you know, we'll see. So I'm like, this is fabric. So how does this going to be waterproof? Like, when the water get through this? But that's what they say. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, um, I went back to purchase the brown version of this, but didn't have it in my size. It's here. But um, nonetheless, I'm so, so very happy that I have these. Absolutely love them. Favorite boots of all time. Period. Talk to me nice. But that is it for today's video. Um, short but sweet. Uh, very much classic, very much um, necessities for your closet. But I'm super happy that I found these because, like I said, I, I these yams need some sturdy shoes. And I wanted comfortable pumps that I could wear with outfits that wouldn't kill my feet. Um, and so I'm glad that I found that. Um, but that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Toodles.